cleaning up after a devastating wildfire season and the rebuilding process could take a while. So today, an Otis man rallied with others, including neighbors and complete strangers, to help his community rebuild. The Echo Mountain complex fire scorched more than 2,000 acres and destroyed dozens of homes and businesses. My wife and I and our eight children, we've lost our home as well. Corey Rivera owns a construction company, and he knows plenty of people in the construction industry. When it came time to rebuild, he realized he could use his resources to help his neighbors. Some of my neighbors are elderly, some of them are disabled, some just don't have the means. And so I was like, well, you guys need any help? Well, you know, while some machines up, we'll do what we can. Rivera posted about the cleanup plans on Facebook, and the response was huge. About 75 people were in this small Otis neighborhood Saturday, sorting through the damage and helping people get a start on rebuilding their homes. We went through like this, and there's nothing. Bobby and Larry Jago are among those who lost their house, and that's not all the fire destroyed. Bobby says she lost some important family heirlooms. The pearls, the, the you know, precious jewels that I inherited from my father, and just nothing, just burnt the fire. Just was so hot. Difficult as it's been, many neighbors say support from their community has helped them get through this. Our evacuation zone was Tillamook County Fairgrounds. They were amazing there. They were very helpful. I have a three-year-old son. When I got there, they, they knew he was coming, and they brought baskets. Really, what's going through my mind is that there's a lot of sorrow for all the homeowners who have had to pack up and leave, and um, everybody who's lost so much and just going through and finding all these stuffs and all these little knickknacks that are still in place just really sets you into this mindset of what they've really lost and how really what they must be thinking. Rivera is optimistic about their efforts, but it could be a while before this neighborhood is fully rebuilt. I really hope the whole neighborhood is rebuilt in about two years. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Stick around. We've got more news coming up in just a few minutes here at 10 o'clock.